hello everyone so here in this video you will see a new tournament that is called supply crisis now the battle map is ancestral land and this is a new tournament which is uh, yet to arrive and this is the test version and now first you see initially we got one hq and two construction yard and both have a special defense effect that means these had these buildings have very high defense and also i would like to show you that in this uh, tournament you cannot build any supply centers and initially you get much higher resources you see i uh, added uh, three barracks and if I uh, don't consider that then I have 3500 resources at the very start of the battle and I have HQ level 5 to construction yard and for each transport you deliver you will get 350 points now what is this and uh, at the uh, beginning you get one flag captured also the enemy also get one flag captured behind your base you can see a warehouse and on each flag you can see a same kind of warehouse these warehouses from the flag sends transport once you capture them and these are delivered to your warehouse that is behind your bases and uh, you know uh, in this tournament there are no resource containers in the map like you see in the other now here I captured this flag and I got transport if the enemy captures any flag the enemy get his transports and for each transport that crosses here and reaches my warehouse I get 350 uh, resources for each of the transports so that's how you earn resources in this one uh, in this tournament is there so building supply centers is not allowed and you cannot even build any more construction yards that's why your construction yard and HQ have some special effect uh, if your construction yard gets destroyed you won't be able to recover it so you must make sure that you can protect your construction yard and be uh, considering the resources you uh, you get at the initially you can also directly go for a space system at the first but that is definitely not going to work because if you go for that the enemy will capture all the flags and will get all the resources you won't be able to build a space uh, system and he will attack your base and the objective of this tournament is to destroy the all the buildings of the enemy base if all the buildings are destroyed the enemy will be over now what I am doing is going for Zeus right away and building uh, uh, also torrents and also going for infantries as well and vertex. So that's what, what I did with the initial resources and uh, you will see just uh, hold on. So here the enemy is also trying to capture the flags and the enemy have control over these flags which is providing them transports that is also providing them quite, quite good amount of resources. Now if you see the transport speed are quite slow like uh, most of the tournaments you see is slow transports. Now here one interesting thing is that the transports got very poor HP. So if you have airplanes you can definitely destroy them uh, with very much ease. And if you uh, just uh, if you just have airplanes and you, if you are unable to capture the transport, then just destroy the. Uh, if you are unable to capture the flags and have airplanes, just destroy this transport of the enemy. The enemy will be deprived of the resources. Destroying one transport means depriving the enemy of getting 350 resources. So if you continue doing that, then the enemy won't get resources and won't send more units because there will be no money for sending making the units so that's what I would be doing at the initially uh, for a little while so you saw what happened with uh, the missiles of one vertex when transport got destroyed and here you see so this transport got poor HP they get uh, destroyed very easily and I'm using the vertex to slowly take down these inventories then I will capture these flags as well but right now he has four flags under his control while I have three flags under my control so they definitely have more flags but I am not allowing this transport to reach uh, behind uh, the warehouses uh, that is located uh, behind his base so by doing that I'm preventing him from uh, making much development so now they sent a mole mole is definitely uh, powerful if you think of one versus one battle but here the mole is all alone and there are just too many units and I have also taken help from the vertex so considering all of that they're not in, at a good shape so what they did was that they focused uh, lots of infantry on all these flags but I have focused all my units at the middle flag which is very close to the enemy base and I will start my attack right now and uh, 
as I said, the objective is destroying their last uh, remaining enemy building. So if you destroy the last building, that will be uh, all you have to do. And although you cannot build supply centers, but if you control uh, even three or four flags, if you control half of the flags, you will get more than enough resources. The resources are actually good. The transports are keep uh, being sent very regularly. And for each transport, you're getting 350 resources. So that's a very healthy amount. And you will definitely have lots of resources to build your units. And also HQ level 5 so you can make any kinds of factories quickly and get uh, your necessary things. So right now the enemy captures all the flags. However, I control the middle flag and now uh, did quite a lot of damage to his base already. Now I'm trying to recapture these flags myself. So you saw lots of the missiles did not even hit this transport but this transport still almost got destroyed because this transport are just too weak even uh, with the against the torrent with such poor accuracy the transport could not survive so here the transport is trying to enter the warehouses that is behind I'm destroying the transports meaning there will be no resources for them so this tournament you can see it's all about building uh, units and capturing the flags because if you capture the flags you will get transport for necessary resources if you don't capture the flags you won't get the resources that is necessary for your transport so right now I am uh, the enemy already surrendered and for just showing how the tournament works I am also going to capture all the flags so that there will be no transport from the enemy side here enemy got this last transport but no more transport will be coming to the enemy the enemy will not earn any more resources after this transport now all the transports from all the six flags will be heading towards uh, the warehouse behind my base and i will be getting huge amount of resources and since i'm getting huge amount of resources i can spend them to make space system uh, since i am getting a lot of resources right now and as i said uh, the HQ and the construction yard got special defense effect. Just look how much damage the Zeus are taking on making on these construction yard and HQ. Now here uh, the sign on the HQ and construction yard are being displayed here which you definitely cannot see at this uh, location. So all the other buildings can be destroyed very easily and quickly just for the HQ and construction here they're just too solid too solid to be destroyed quickly okay just look how much damage they did so you see this HQ is crazy strong because it's HQ level 5 with special defense effect so that's how much uh, defense the HQ and construction yard has so that's how the tournament works.